I have something new I want to try today. I want to be trying to cook some soup in the, we're going to use the original, we're going to have water in here. I'm going to peel the label off, but I also want to uh, boil some noodles in the water to add to my soup. So I'll uh, get set up for that. First we have to peel off the label. So as you can see I have the label peeled off. I'm going to add some water to that. This is uh, two cups here. I'm not sure how much it'll take. Looks like it'll take uh, two cups and then some. And I've got my cooker here. And I'm going to put an ounce of fuel in. Okay, that's right at one ounce. I'm going to let that, uh, the original stove that comes with this, uh, be in there. I'll put our ring on. And the one thing you do want to do is you do want to pop the seal on your can. You don't want to uh, you don't want to heat up a a can of soup or anything that's that's still sealed. So I'll uh, go ahead and get this lit up. And uh, we'll start cooking. So the best way to light one of these uh, alcohol stoves is get a twig, dip it in the alcohol, light that, and then light the uh, stove. And then make sure you put the others out. Now that is lit. It is alcohol, so you don't see it. That's one thing you do have to be careful about. So we have our can of soup that has been opened. We have our two cups of water in there. And I'm going to put the tab back down. I think I'll wait for that to boil. And the one nice thing is you can set that one in upside down. The difficulty will be getting that back off of there. So I'll find me some uh, pot mitts to be able to take that back off. So we are at a boil. That I can hear. So I'll go ahead and add the noodles to the water. This way you can, uh, if you have a friend, you can extend your soup. There you go. We're going to go ahead and let that cook. Let the uh, one ounce of fuel run out. We'll see how long that uh, last cooking. Get back with you. Well, as you can see, I've got steam coming up there. We'll take a look here real quick. See how things are progressing. Oh yeah, we got a good boil. Like I say, that doesn't have a simmering. That's why I only put one ounce a fuel in there. I did want to see what it would do for me. And it looks like it's going to get everything good and hot. I'll let it, after the flame goes out, I'll, I will let it uh, sit there just a little bit. But we're timing to see how long that's going to last. Well, we are at the 15 minute mark and it took about five minutes to get that water boiling and it's been cooking for another 10 minutes. And I believe the uh, fire is just going out now, so I'm going to let that sit a little bit. Keep everything hot. So what I did here is I've let this sit another five minutes after the fuel went out. And it does look like the noodles are cooked. And everything is hot. As it should be. So 
So what I want to do is I want to see what the temperature of my soup is. I may want to add some more fuel. We'll see. So I've got my digital thermometer infrared and the noodles are reading 148 degrees. The soup is 132 degrees. So I believe that's an uh, acceptable temperature. Everything uh, is cooked. So we'll go ahead and see how all this uh, comes out in the bowl and how acceptable that is. One ounce of uh, alcohol. And like I say, I'm really excited that this uh, pan will sit down on top with a full can of soup. Uh, to be able to cook that. So what we'll do is see if we can get all that water off of the noodles. And yes, that is hot, but not so hot. You can't touch it for a second. But I am going to use it to pour off the water. And I guess I got my... Why not? What it's made for. Let's see if we can get the water into the cup. And I did have uh, two full cups, and I'm down to one cup. That's good. Yeah, we're 140 as I mix that. Let's give it a taste test though. Yep. 140 degrees is, uh, I would say, uh, bowl warm. That's uh, totally acceptable. One ounce. If you would like uh, a little bit warmer, I'd use maybe an ounce and a half, but what we're trying to do is uh, get a set mark to where we know what we need, how much. Obviously, uh, this is outside, but there's really no wind, and it is a warm day. So the colder it is, and the more wind you have, possibly the more fuel you're going to need, but I did do that with one ounce made the noodles around the edge with two cups of water and that keeps it below the line where this sets on the water and like I say that does nest in there nicely I'm happy about that